Kildare's biggest problem at the moment is just a lack of confidence and I've, I've been in, in teams that have been relegated in the league and it does, it, it, eep, it eeks away at you every weekend where um, you're just not as sure of yourself for, for a number of years this, the, the core group of players here were used to, to going well in Division 1 um, even while they're in Division 2 you know, always highly competitive against all teams and reaching all air in quarterfinals continuously so it does it's a, it's a knock to the confidence whenever you're not winning and um, it, it does take it takes its toll on players because everything morale starts, starts to get low and not there and I think the disappointing thing um, for them is that they're not fulfilling their potential and they're better footballers and um, they're better squad of players than what they're proven. Can that one game against Leash be enough to turn around and have them beat Dublin? I don't believe it can, but I would like to see them being really competitive against Dublin, that even if they do lose it, that it, it still sets them up uh, in decent condition, that they're then able to give the qualifiers a good run, like they, like they always had done on the Cairn McGinney, and possibly make it back to a quarter-final because the football ability is there. Um, they're just not getting the best out of themselves at the moment. I feel Dublin have everything uh, that's needed to win an All-Ireland for this year. They have the pedigree, um, they have the know-how to do it. I think they, they quite possibly got caught out cold last year against Donegal and they hadn't been tested all year. And so far in, in Leinster, it's, it's been the same for them. Um, this weekend, I can't really see Kildare getting within five, six points of them just purely because their season has been so stop-start and um, they've had no consistency throughout the league. Um, now, albeit they had a, a super result against Leash um, last weekend after a replay would have showed great resilience to hang in there the first day whenever it looked like it was gone and they will definitely take confidence, uh, confidence from that there but I think just judging by Leash's result at the weekend against Antrim it might maybe put that there into perspective and they're, they're definitely coming up against the favourites for the All-Ireland now at the moment and from Jim Gavin I'd say his only really concern at this stage is trying to find what his best team is um, and putting them in their best positions and uh, I think that's something he's going to really need to get quite soon because as the year goes on and the challenges get tougher uh, he hasn't him to tinker with his team or he can't afford to, to start with a few boys where he's maybe not sure that uh, it's their role for the season um, I think the Dublin or the Donegal game last year proved that um, whenever things turned against them, they hadn't been tested all year. So he's really going to need to try and get a settled team as soon as possible, so that once he hits August and All Ireland quarter final, that um, he knows where he's going and, and who he has for which position. GAA, be there, all the way.